What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to reset your Steam Deck using a USB drive. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually head over to the website, and I will put a link to this in the description. You're just going to go ahead and select Agree and Download, and you'll get the Steam Deck repair image. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, you're also going to download Rufus. And this is a free tool that you can use to create bootable USB drives. So we're going to go ahead and download the portable version of Rufus because we don't have to install it. And let's open that up. Now it says, do you want to allow Rufus to check for updates? Uh, we can choose yes, why not? And now it's open. So you are going to want to make sure that you have a USB drive that's at least eight gigabytes. And I do have one in here that is eight gigabytes. So I've plugged that into my PC at this point. And then we're going to select the image that we're going to use. And that's going to be in our downloads. And it is the Steam Deck repair image. Now you'll see that it says ready to go. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and click on start. And this is going to erase everything on the drive. That's fine. We'll press OK. And again, press OK. And it will start formatting the drive and setting up the appropriate installers. This process may take a while. All right, so it finished installing. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and go grab the USB stick. I'm going to go ahead and safely remove the device first. All right, so I have the drive here and there's a few ways you can connect it to your Steam Deck. So here's my Steam Deck right here. Um, the first way is to use a little USB hub. You can plug a USB-C into it and then connect, um, oops, wrong one. A USB-C hub, so it has a USB-C on this side and then it has a bunch of ports on this side. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this little device here. Let me go ahead and full screen this real quick. I'm gonna use this right here, which is a USB-C and USB-A. So I can just plug this, just like that. And then I can plug this right into my Steam Deck. So that's how I'm gonna actually get it connected. All right, so what we need to do is turn off the Steam Deck. So I'm just gonna hold this down until it completely turns off. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it the right way. I'll go ahead and choose shut down. All right, so it is shutting down. I should probably clean this, it's kinda nasty. All right, so once it is completely off, you're gonna hold the volume down button, and then you're gonna press the power button and you'll see what happens when it uh, turns on right now. You'll see that it goes into a boot menu. So here we're gonna go ahead and choose the USB drive and I'll go ahead and press A on that and you'll see that it starts kind of showing some code pop up and this will take a while. All right, and now we can see it's loading into the development environment and you'll see welcome to KDE Plasma. Go ahead and skip all that using the skip button and we can just pull the right trigger to activate that. All right, so we have four different options to choose from. We have clear local user data that reformats the home partition of your Steam Deck, which is all of the downloaded games, personal content and system configuration. We have re-image Steam Deck, which is a full factory reset, deletes everything, your user info, your installed games, applications and everything. And then we have reinstall Steam OS, which reinstalls just the OS while attempting to preserve your games and your personal content, which is kind of cool that they added. And then we have recovery tools where you can try to uh, make changes to the Steam Deck boot partition. We're gonna go ahead and re-image our Steam Deck. So we're gonna go to that second one and just click twice using the right trigger. You'll see this action will permanently delete your Steam Deck. Go ahead and choose continue. Or proceed and now the process has started and again that will take a while all right once that finishes we're just going to go ahead and choose proceed to reboot the steam deck and you'll see it goes through some final updates here before it switches over and there it is i don't believe we need the usb stick anymore because we are now running on the hard drive itself all right and there it is a freshly installed SteamOS. 
So that's it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.